And never let influencers or anyone tell you to not comment, not give your opinions, your beliefs, your thoughts. Don't let anyone tell you not to call someone out if you think someone's in the wrong. Well, I'm glad you said that, Trisha, because... That she's lied about me for years to all these YouTubers to try to get me to not work with them. I have actual video confessions of people saying, yeah, she did say that to me. I went to this wedding and this is what she said to me about you. People that I've never even met. She literally has defamed my character. And this is before the incident that happened on November 11, 2015. We're talking about eight or nine years ago until this day. She's still acting like she don't know who I am. Go ahead, Trisha Paytas. You can take ownership of what you've done in real life. This YouTube shit, cut this shit out. Like, cut this shit out. This is a vernacular war zone. What did she say? What did they do? What's going on? Vernacular boo. Vice versa. Hey guys, welcome back to Vice Versa. And today we are mining Trisha Paytas' business because Nina underrated called her out in a video a couple of days ago calling her a massive hypocrite with all the drama that's happening between Shane Dawson, Ryan, and Jeffrey No Stars. And Nina pointed out some great things that I, already, I was already thinking in my head when this started all unfolding about the whole entire saga between her, Shane Dawson, and the falling out, and everybody talking shit behind everybody's back. And I just didn't buy it. And I wanna tell you guys a little more about that. So if we take a couple steps back and we go maybe nine or 10 weeks ago in 2019 in November, when Trisha Paytas literally attacked a child on TikTok. I believe her name is Charlie D'Amelio or some sorts of that nature. And she provided her criticism on that child that's 16 years old. I'm just gonna say, Trisha Paytas, like this is not, sorry, just you have been, completely rude to me multiple times saying I she doesn't have a personality she can't dance she's basic I found that to be incredibly distasteful because you're talking about a child I don't care how many followers someone has you just don't talk about people's children whether they're on social media or not it isn't like she you know acts to be a, a famous person she just grew in popularity and the algorithm assisted her with that, that popularity nonetheless I think it was completely disgraceful, distasteful that Trisha would even utter that child's name to hold her accountable. And more on that soon. Next, Nina Underrated, another large, well, schmedium YouTuber here um, on the platform, um, called Trisha Paytas out and saying that she's extremely hypocritical and that she's actually a mean girl herself and that all this crying on the internet is completely just absurd given all the things that Trisha Paytas has done to her in the background, behind the scenes, off camera. Don't feel bad for her. Don't feel bad for her. Because she's complaining about Jeffree Star being a mean girl with this hairdresser, yet she's doing some real life mean girl shit to me and won't even utter or even acknowledge what she's done to me. So please, don't fall for the bait. Don't fall for the bait. I have to speak on this because She's doing some real life mean girl shit to me and I'm not breaking down, crying, doing all of this. All of this show because of something somebody said. Like whoever she contacted with the company OnlyFans, she definitely manipulated that person to get all that money over $15,000 got removed from my referral program. From my referral program. I made a video thanking her and by the next morning, the money was removed out of my referral program. This woman went to all of these YouTubers to cock block my career once again, trying to stop my financial flow, trying to stop my financial coins from coming in on some hating ass shit, on some malicious, real mean girl shit. And I'm not sitting up here. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all of that. I'm not trying to play victim. In this case, I am the victim. She has badmouthed me to all the YouTubers that have, years later, I was able to communicate with these people and they're like, yo, she told me that you showed up at her house and slashed the tires to her car. You t she told me that you went over there to hurt her. She told me that you showed up to her house with your ex-husband that's, that's an NFL athlete. Imagine me, I'm a Puerto Rican. I already 
got a bad stigma like, oh, you know, Puerto Ricans carry knives and shit. It's real easy to flip a story on a stripper or someone that was in the sex work industry or someone like, when you Google me and you see what you see online, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that guy, yeah, that one right there, she crazy. You can sell anything when it comes to that. But this is happening in real life. This is not on YouTube. Not once has this woman said my name on her YouTube channel and she doing real life shit to fuck with my real life. That's dangerous. So as you might already know that Trisha Paytas, Trisha Paytas makes bank on OnlyFans. I think one month she made about a million dollars, if not mistaken. Either way, she makes an extreme amount of money on OnlyFans. It's extremely lucrative income for her. What most people don't know is that Nina Underrated was the one that provided her with her affiliate link to join the platform and educated Trisha Paytas on what the platform could provide in regards to that niche of content, right? If we really look back at it, not once has Trisha Paytas thanked Nina Underrated, not once has she ever mentioned her or whatnot. And then for her Nina Underrated to, Nina Underrated to state that once Trisha Paytas came out with her video announcing how much money she made on OnlyFans, and then Nina uploaded a video piggybacking off of that saying, hey, she utilized my link, and this is how much money I made off this platform as an educational video, that the following day after she posted that video, that over $15,000 was deducted from her balance that was due to her, and she alleges by perception that once she made that video up, Trisha Paytas saw it, contacted her representatives or someone very high up within the OnlyFans organization and OnlyFans took administrative action against Nina Underrated on money that she has earned an introduction to the platform for Trisha Paytas. Now that's currently being litigated within the court systems um, between Nina Underrated and the OnlyFans organization corporation. Um, but I find it extremely interesting that not once has Trisha came out and said, Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do this. I didn't I didn't orchestrate anything in the background in regards to you being deducted over 15 grand. She has never, you know, publicly said anything to um, her fans or on her any of our social media platforms. And then on top of that, she's never reached out to Nina Underrated um, to provide such a, a point of view. Now, Nina Underrated also mentions in that video that Trisha Paytas has gone around to multiple large commentary channels in discussing Nina Rated in not a so positive light, um, actually bashing her, talking negatively about her. Um, both two YouTubers that are commentary channels are larger, have large platforms on the on the YouTube channel, but as well as talking about, as well as talking about Nina, Nina um, in real life to people that have come back to her and said, hey, on video, through video conference calls or whatever which way she announced in that video, but have basically admitted saying, hey, Trisha's talked a lot of shit about you and this is what she said. And the things that she said about Nina Underrated were, you know, incredibly, allegedly, she said about Nina Underrated were incredibly just disgusting. It was the same type of commentary or the same type of mean girl bashing that Shane Dawson is, has done to her. And now she's having an epiphany and saying, oh my gosh, my good friend Shane Dawson was talking about on me. But in retrospect, she's also has do in retrospect, she's also doing the same crap in the background to the underdogs that assisted her making her millions on OnlyFans and it has shown no appreciation, has never reached out back to Nina Underrated and said, Hey, it wasn't me. Let me see if I can reach out to somebody at OnlyFans that I know so that this could be rectified between you and the corporation. Which, you know, then it just provides this perception that, damn, you're being a mean girl too in the background. And now she's like, you know, she's here on social media. <laughs> Shane Dawson. She's uploading photos, uh, uploading videos on TikTok that, in which she's looking at a complete hot ass mess. And I'm like, I want to have sympathy for you because I've been in those situations. But then I don't when I hear the same shit that you're crying about by other social media influencers or social media YouTubers. So I'm just like, I, I, it's very hard for me to find that, to swallow that pill of sympathy and empathy for Trisha Paytas in this Shane Dawson situation because allegedly she's being accused of doing the same thing as well. Like make it make sense. Like make it make sense. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Like do y'all get it? Like you literally did the same thing to someone else. And then allegedly, according to the perception that's out there and the timeline 
of when these items occurred between the OnlyFans Corporation and Nina, deducted $15,000 or more out of Nina Underrated's OnlyFans account from her affiliate dollars and putting you onto the platform and having you rank in the millions. I'm extremely offended that she's on social media boohooing and bitching about this whole entire stupidity of a drama. She's so, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Your friend that you thought was a friend talks shit about you. Okay. Ouch. I understand that. It's happened to me too. But the only thing I don't understand is that she's over 30 years old. I learned, I learned this basic concept of interpersonal relationships is that when a person that is your friend or an associate that you meet and they're talking consistent shit about somebody or gossip about people to you that you don't even know, that that is an extreme red flag and that I must immediately exit that relationship because I don't want that type of negativity in my life. I learned that when I was 19, 20 years old, not 35. So I'm like, I don't have sympathy for her because one, these are some things that you should have learned in your early 20s. Two, don't tell me that you did not know that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson didn't talk shit about people and gossip behind their backs as much as you hang around them. But but it was okay for them to do it around you, Trisha. Trisha, allegedly, it was okay for them to do it around you when you were having and kicking with them in the playground, when you were a part of the Mean Girls Club, it was all right. But now since it's being, that it's you that you figured out that they also talk shit about because somehow that didn't click in your brain that if they're talking shit about other people that are classified as their friends and family or whatever, that somehow it didn't click in your head that they would be doing the same thing to you, about you. You know, I just, what? What? Like, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. So for her to consistently come on the platforms on TikTok crying and bitching about it, I have a couple of words for it. And, you know, I don't have that much sympathy for her. I can relate. I have gone through it. Not once have I cried to anyone about it. I just moved on. I packed my shit and moved on. Like, I'm not going to sit there and make a spectacle out of somebody that I care about that I consider a friend because my devotion in friendship is extremely high if I consider you as a friend. So I'm not going to bash you online and make a whole spectacle of it to get attention, clout, and free public relations for, for extra ad revenue on multiple platforms, if I'm making sense. So that being said, in addition to allegedly being in a conspiracy of having Nina underrated allegedly being swiped $15,000 or more due to allegedly a informal complaint that Trisha Paytas did to OnlyFans in regards to that one video in which Nina underrated revealed that she provided the affiliate link and sponsored her for the OnlyFans platform. Um, in addition to her talking like a mean girl and saying very cruel things, very malicious things to many people that have confronted Nina underrated and provided evidence about Trisha's mean girl behavior in the background in person. You know, I just don't get it why the whole internet is like, oh my God, Trisha and Shane. Like, I understand it's a fun time to hate on Jeffree Star. I understand it's a fun time to shit on Shane Dawson. And you know, because that all the other stuff that happened, but at the same rate, you can't throw stones in a glass house. Okay. like. <laughs> You just can't. I like. I. I just don't agree with it, um, and I just don't have sympathy for it. And every time, I, every day she logs onto a video, I'm just like, "Ma'am, you need to simmer down. You need to collect your thoughts. You need to collect your baggage, and you need to visit a therapist." As a matter of fact, all of them need to go to therapy because they're all incredibly insecure, destable, emotional people. And I just couldn't imagine ever going online to uh, talking about someone that I care about emotionally, that I have a very, you know, em a very high emotional bond with that is my friend or was my friend and shitting on them in public. I just, I can't understand that concept. I can't relate. I can't mentally grasp onto it as to how someone could do that. And that brings me into my final chapter of this video, fake friendships on YouTube. Jeffree Star's relationship with his hairdresser was fake. Um, Jeffree Star's relationship with Jane Dawson, fake. Um, I mean, it's just a bunch of fake ass people that 
get attention online and have these large platforms built up based on a fallacy that they are kind and that they are smart video production people. I mean, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No talent, no talent, just a bunch of insecurities that keep biting them in the butt year over year, year after year. In the meantime, I'm linking Nina's underrated video and YouTube channel down below. Go give her a shout out under her video and support. If anything, we should be really supporting individuals that are not really mean girls and, and individuals that are not attempting to portray as if they're not mean girls and play a victim role. Like she's, it's, she's such a victim, but yet she's doing this shit in the background, allegedly. You know, according to many people that have reached out to Nina Underrated. So, um, Trisha, you need to help out Nina Underrated if you, of course, weren't involved in the conspiracy in having her money deducted from her OnlyFans sponsorships and affiliate links that she provided you and put you on into OnlyFans. She offended the trans community. She offended the DID community. She said wasn't that bad of a guy that voted for Trump and has started a fight with about every single other creator on this platform. You are in no position to be talking about me and my career, so I highly recommend that you stop starting fights with people that are half your age, pack it up, and work on holding yourself and your best friends around you because they and you are the problem. Vice versa. This is a vernacular war zone. Vernacular war zone. Vernacular war zone. What did she say? What did they do? Oh, Miss Thing, they are a shady crew.